got a bunch of crap in my eye. Yeah, I know, you're supposed to wear glasses when you're doing this, or goggles, or whatever. I'm sorry, man, I'm sorry. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back for another video. So today we're going to address an issue that I've been having on my Mustang. So I've been having an issue with my axle backs just drooping down randomly on drive. It's actually not random, it's during bumps. If I hit a hard bump, my axle back just droops. And that was due to the clamps. These clamps that pulled the axle back to the over axle, the ones that were on there were trash. They were not holding anything. You could tighten them as hard as you wanted and it was still allowed to do whatever the heck it wanted. I bought these off of Amazon uh, for recommendation. We were at Mustang week this past week. Somebody had put these up there saying that these work just as good as the 30 or $20 ones that are on like, uh, I can't remember now, but I'll put that up if I do remember it in the video. But I got these off Amazon. They were like 15 bucks each. I just did one side and it is solid. They are not moving. They are not moving at all. So I'm very pleased with this we're gonna go ahead and install this on the other side but really quick make sure you hit that subscribe button down below if you want to see more of these videos give it a like leave a comment down below yeah enjoy the video back of the car you can see how much we're drooping over there compared to this side this is the side that i've already put that clamp on and then this is the side where you can basically just you can move it see it, you shouldn't be allowed to do that so after we put this new clamp on there, it shouldn't do this anymore. Since the first thing I did was loosen the axle backs over here, I'm gonna do the same thing over here on the driver's side. You got a bolt up there. This is if you have to take your axle backs off. This is a real pain in the butt to get the hangers out of here. So I usually just remove that bolt right there and the side bolt up here and then the two over here as well that are holding it on this hanger of course i left my tools all the way on the other side okay, so we'll undo this guy doing the clamp at the back we can break this guy loose There we go. I'm just gonna completely take this off. Yep. I'm going to have to take the axle back off because I don't have enough room to just slide the clamp off. That kind of screwed in. That way we don't smash our face in. Same back here. So much crud just came out. I have to use a mix here, the impact, and a ratchet. back end is going to come down. And support the weight. Alright. So now that this is down, we can get this clamp off here. Doo-doo clamp is off. So, thought about it probably don't even need to remove the front completely off what I'll do is push this back up there got one of these bolts just enough to hold it and so much support that I'm having a hard time getting up from there all right so now we're gonna put the new clamp on there and make sure everything's nice and tight I was seeing some wiggle in the over axle to the X pipe. So we might have to make some adjustments over there, but shouldn't be anything too big. So just like last time, 
I am just going to support the weight over here. Undo this screw or bolt, whatever you call it. And slide the new clamp on there. I'll just come down again. Make sure you don't smack yourself in the face. New clamp slid on. Bring this back up. Get that clamp into place or the mount or an exhaust hanger mount or whatever you want to call it. Put the bolt into place. Make sure it's actually in there. That feels unsecure as crap. Go ahead and put the second bolt to that rear. Light on there. Yep, there we go. got a bunch of crap in my eye. Yeah, I know, you're supposed to wear glasses when you're doing this, or goggles, or whatever. I'm sorry, man, I'm sorry. All right, so now that we got the new clamp on there, it should be as easy as just getting into a spot where I can get to it. And I'm bringing this up. And that wasn't exactly on the clamp. There we go. So it looks like we're still sitting a little cross-eyed. Right side's fine. It's just, I noticed when we put this guy on is that behind here, or the over axles, where it connects to the X pipe, was moving around, so that means the clamp's not really that tight over there. Basically what's happening is that the clamp is so far forward that there's not enough clamping force on the over axle pipes. So what I'm gonna do is coerce it a little bit to get the frick back onto the over axle pipes. So this clamp back here has already been tightened. So now I technically shouldn't be able, it seems like we are grabbing on over there. So the over axle to X pipe clamp is doing its job now. So now we can adjust this so that way we can get it matched to the other side. I don't know guys, to me that looks pretty darn close. That looks like as close as we're gonna get it. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten everything down and lower the car.
on the road or I'm making a turn, I feel like the bottom of the car was just, just unsteady. Um, so, $12 clamps from Amazon. I'll put the link down in the description below so that way you guys can check that out and save you some money. And I highly recommend them. They obviously work. I have no issues here. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Hit that subscribe button down below and I'll catch you guys next time.